Yes. Hi. Well, thanks so much for coming here. I'm Peter. I'm, I self-identify as Asian American, a physicist, and right of center, which means I am unique around here. <laughs> I also don't worry about online serving because I'm easy to find, right? Okay. But uh, I wanted to, to amplify your argument a little bit because you in, you didn't talk about Asians. And if you're a cis, hetero, single Asian male, you're everything in terms of, you know, we, on outcomes, we slightly outperform white men, but uh, you still suffer, of course, some of the, the problems of being a racial minority. So if you're talking about that sort of input-output ratio, I think you didn't talk about Asian males, but you know we're systematically discriminated against when it comes to things like affirmative action, mm -hmm. and yet- You can't talk about that. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, well, that's bless right. me. But, bless but I would also say that to your point on the other side, uh, and, and so speaking now from the sciences, um, that, that basically we are told so much that, you know, inclusivity, encouragement, there's no actual basis that encouragement of anybody makes them better scientists or engineers. Just because yeah. you feel better about yourself doesn't right. mean you actually work right. better. That's right. But it, I think that exactly to your point, the type of feedback that we give to people who are part of these underrepresented, your sort of six groups plus mm -hmm. of the discriminated, they don't get the same kind of training. Because if there's That's a right. white guy <clears throat> up there giving a talk, we will tear into him, we yeah. will rip him to shreds, exactly. and it's like, it's like, it's training, it's like boxing, That's right. or whatever. And we take it easy on. Yeah, and right. then you go out into the international job market, yeah. and you get smoked if you have no idea what you're doing, That's right? right. And, exactly. and I think what saves us, actually, uh, in the sciences is the fact that the proportion of Americans is smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. right? So more than half of our, say, postdoctoral researchers or grad students, roughly speaking, in, in physics and engineering are foreign. Yeah. And the ones from China, I can certainly speak knowing this, right? The Cultural Revolution was all about having your family denounced and deported for yeah. thought crimes right. against the government, which is, uh, please tell me how that's any different than how things are going today. No, is, but if you want people who are intolerant of political correctness, talk to the half of the department that comes from China. Yeah. No, that's right. Those are great points. So just to, very, very briefly, um, I don't talk about Asians because the social justice folks don't talk about Asians, because Asians tie their head in knots. Because if America is so systemically racist and, and, and the language of majority minority, when I was growing up, everybody was either black or white, practically. And so the language of majority minority, and of course the majority is exclusionary, etc. And Asian success, Asian spectacular success, puts the lie to that. And that's very uncomfortable. So that's why Asians don't really play a role here. Um, the social justice folks just want to cover it up. Um, obviously, there is real discrimination against Asians in admissions. And again, they don't want to talk about that. Affirmative action is a sacred topic. We can't have an open discussion about affirmative action. Um, so that's, that's that point. And on the point about preparing for the international job market, yes, I hear more and more. I mean, you hear all these statistics. You know, the heads of all the biggest companies, number, a large number of the biggest and most successful tech companies were not raised in the United States. Uh, because if you're raised in the United States, you turn into a weakling. You can't handle anything. So I think it's a matter of national, um, national uh, survival security. and security <laughs> and economic prosperity. We've got to stop this safety culture, which is crippling our kids. Thank you.